Hi guys, you're welcome to Web Technologies. We'll be creating a JavaScript countdown timer. Timed events are fun and interactive for you. People who love performing in some type of competition, but there are many other reasons to show a JavaScript timer on your website. Regardless of the reasons, I'm going to show you how to create a countdown timer using JavaScript and HTML. My primary caution for you is to understand JavaScript handled on the client side and as a dependency on the user's computer speed. However, counter timers are still effective for encouraging your users to quickly perform a particular task. Let's build our first JavaScript countdown display. Now I have a file called timer.html whereby I'm going to actually uh, walk you through on how to create uh, a timer using JavaScript. So follow me along. I'm going to create the document type. HTML. Right inside there, I'm going to have document timer. Let me try to rename this. That's fine. I think it's okay there. That's okay. I'm going to have my HTML language. Let's give it English. Again. So we have that down. Back. I'm going to have the add tag. Closing add tag. All right, inside here, let's have our title. So let's give it JavaScript countdown timer. That's fine. Let me just close this up. Okay. Right there, we're going to have the body. So right inside the body, we're going to create uh, the script and as well, we're going to actually use a float, which is uh, actually going to be a kind of uh, span. So let's do that quickly. Let's have the span ID equals to counter. And uh, a class, give it timer. Let's close that right there. Now we're going to have a script. That's the JavaScript. So inside the script, I'm going to create a variable called seconds, which will be equals to 60. I'm going to have a function second past. Inside this function, I'm going to uh, call a new variable called minutes. Which will be equals to the math. Again, around there. Now I'm going to pass in something inside there quickly. First of all, seconds. Minus 30. So that is going to be divided by 60. Just this way. Have that set. Now I'm going to have another variable inside here, which is actually going to be for remaining seconds. Which will be equal to the seconds. Now 
now I need percent which is actually going to be second percentage 60 that's fine I'm going to have an if statement if the remaining seconds is less than 10 Now I'm going to call the remaining seconds should be equals to zero plus the remaining seconds. That's concatenate with the remaining seconds. That's fine. I've it said this way. Now outside the if statement we're going to have the document get element by ID now we're going to get the countdown what about we call the inner HTML does this way, which should be equals to minutes concatenate with the colon concatenate with the remaining seconds. Just this way, that's fine. Now we're going to have another if statement. If the nested if statement, it just creates a little space. This time, if the seconds is equals to zero we're going to call the clear interval what about we passing the countdown timer Just this way. Put set. Now we're going to call the document get element by ID. We're going to pass the the candle as its parameter. I'm going to call the inner HTML, which will be equals to boss boss. That's fine. Now we're going to have our else. Seconds. minus minus that's a decrement we have that set now we have that set appropriately outside the function we're going to create a variable called countdown timer which we're going to set the interval I'm going to pass in second past as we're forming a string 
calling the second box function this way comma 1000 which should actually be in milliseconds just this way now we have the closing script we have the body you know this just have to create uh, a javascript timer what about we first of all created uh the variable seconds which we initialized to 60 we have a function called second past what about we created the minutes now we have to call the math function and round it up based on the seconds minus 30 divided by 60 we have for the remaining seconds because definitely we can still have some seconds remaining which can be in milliseconds and now we have to get this by getting the modulus of the seconds uh, based on 60 that's that now we test for the remaining seconds if it's less than 10 uh, we're going to actually have zero to concatenate the remaining seconds and we we'll pass it to the value of remaining seconds anytime uh, the remaining seconds is less than 10. Now we get the element by ID of the countdown which is the span over here. Uh, we call the inner HTML. We're trying to build uh, an HTML um, string into it. But we have minutes concatenate with a colon and concatenate with the remaining seconds. Now if the seconds equals to zero, uh, we're going to clear the interval Bobby is going to call the countdown timer, which is this variable that was called there. Now we get the document get element by ID, the same span. Uh, the inner HTML now pops out both bulls. Else, the seconds is going to decrement. Now we call the set interval. What about we pass the second pass method or function and we pass in a thousand milliseconds? That is actually going to get a countdown timer. So I'm going to actually show this uh, in the Chrome so that we're actually going to see how this uh, works. So I'm actually going to launch this in the Chrome browser. So I'm going to uh, do the live launch. Can you notice? It started countdown from one minute, going to 56. It's going to get to zero. Afterwards, it's going to call booze. That the countdown is finished, just creating a countdown like from a minute okay so you can actually set the uh, time interval you want for your countdown to be maybe two minutes maybe just 30 seconds maybe 10 seconds maybe two, uh, five minutes you know but this is just how to create a countdown you can actually incorporate this in your website uh, if you actually have a live program coming up uh, maybe in the next five hours or in the next two hours you can start your countdown from now and this will just continue to uh, give the countdown till it gets to the zero zero which are actually going to start up uh, the live session so let's wait for the countdown to get uh, to zero and we'll see what's going to just pop up after that so you can actually uh, tweak this to uh, anything or any way you feel like you need it for so can you see that when it gets to zero it's called boost boost so this is just a simple way of creating a countdown using javascript thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed time. Bye-bye.